Coming down the center of the course, coming on electric finish. Do it again. He's coming at Rainbow Bridge. He's a board leader and he will do it. Race four, the first leg of the pick six goes over 1325. It's the www.tabgold.co.za maiden plate over 1400 meters. Not a hell of a lot of form to work on, one has to say. The early favourite is number one, Silver Palace, who jumps out of pole position. Did run fourth, but well beaten six lengths on his debut at Durbanville over 1,250 metres. Richard Faree teams up with Justin Snaith. The son of Patala Palace, of course, uh, Patala Palace, uh, the sire of the very exciting three-year-old Katak. Uh, obviously a scope for improvement. The second choice, or the third choice in the market, rather, is number eight, Willow Express, who's been beaten 12 lengths and 13 lengths, admittedly last time in a feature race. Sean Terry and Lyle Hewitson team up. That has been priced up at 7-2. to two. And the second favourite is number 11, Gavel Strike, who's had a second, a fourth, and a fourth um, in her three outings, uh, which includes, of course, a barrier trial. And that's been priced up at 5-2. to two. The rest are just not in the mix. Uh, but uh, it is the first leg of the pick six, Warren. Uh, not a hell of a lot of form to work on, so... An upset is not out of uh, the rounds of possibility. I quite like number 10, Rocket Rumba, who's been priced up at 16 to 1. Well-exposed maiden, uh, but has been on the poly track only three times for a second and a fourth. And if there is um, not a hell of a lot of talent around the, the top three in the, in the betting, that's the kind of horse, I think, being a year older as well, that could surprise them. I, I agree with you. It's Rocket Rumba, Doug Campbell's horse. Uh, if the ones that are short in the betting, as you say, fluff their lines, then he is the kind of horse that can spoil the party. I know you give him a big chance. Uh, he doesn't form part of my selections, uh, but he certainly will go into the back end of my quartets. Going back to Willow Express, Graham, I, I, you say third favourite, there's a bit of money around for this horse. I, I, I can't, maybe they've worked him on the poly and he's, he's no, set I the think poly alight. I think in the absence of a lot of form, it's, it's, it's more a measure of respect for the fact that Lyle Hewitson, it's nice to have the guys coming into town, uh, yes. you know, obviously with the COVID travel regulations, uh, we haven't seen uh, the likes of Richard Faree, Lyle Hewitson, Callan Murray, they're all coming into town, so Lyle Hewitson, Sean Terry, I think the trainer-jockey combination, in the absence of any form amongst the, the, the majority of these runners, uh, they've just priced him up with healthy respect. Sure. If they take the 7-2 and then, he shortens... Then you take notice. Then you've got to take notice. Then yeah. you've got to take notice. Absolutely. But uh, I think it's going to be a, a bit of a boat race between Silver Palace and Gavel Strike, 1-11. and 11. Silver Palace, uh, yes, he was uh, well beaten on debut, but he did charge home powerfully. He was the fastest running on, so lots to like about him. But Gavel Strike... It just worries me, Graham, and, and maybe you could answer the question. I've followed this coup de grace cult with great interest. Last time, he, he missed the break. You know, could it just be inexperienced? Yeah, or? I, think, I think still inexperienced, has a bit of a deep draw to overcome. Wouldn't be surprised. Coup de grace is still waiting for his first win. I wouldn't be surprised to see Gavel Strike winning it. It's not a very deep race. No. Uh, we spoke about Dean Canamayer stepping out a well-bred horse in the third race. Well, he does so here again. Number nine, Ferrari Ice, is a gelded two-year-old son of Ferrari out of summer ice, so not being respected in the early market, but if there's money for him, then respect number nine, Ferrari, pa uh, Ferrari Ice. But in narrowing it down, it's not that easy. You might be able to get away in the first leg of the pick six with numbers one, Silver Palace, 10, Rocket Drumber, 11, Gavel Strike, and eight, Willow Express. Would you throw in anything else? Graham, uh... Bearing in mind that first time is if they win the first race time is uh, also to, included. To answer your question, I would have thrown in three... Uh, Phyllis Spiel, is that how you pronounce it? Phyllis Spiel, number three. Phyllis uh, Spiel, yeah. Yeah, but it is a first time. That's also so, a first time. 100%. Okay, so maybe for pick six purposes, we'll be okay with numbers one, eight, ten, and eleven. That's race four.